to another edition of Razor's Edge for Rookies. In this month's tip, I'm going to teach you the correct way to change an address. Right, for this example, what I've done is opened up my sample database and I've just grabbed any record. It doesn't matter. Now this uh, tip that I'm going to teach you, for some reason Razor's Edge has not built the same feature for uh, an organization, so it only works for individuals. But what I want to bring your attention to is when you change an address, the mistake I see most commonly made is you'll open up an address and let's say you get that piece of mail that comes back and I see people come right here and they'll make a change to exactly whatever the address is. So if the person has moved from 4765 Marlowe Lane and they move to 1232 Main Street, the mistake is to come here and just type it in like this. And let me explain why. What will happen is if this person has moved, there's a good chance that that next mailing you send to them will get to the right address and if they make a donation a lot of times their checks will still have the old address and this becomes a vicious cycle I see development offices they'll actually make an address change right on the bio one tab they'll send out a piece of mail they'll get a check and then they'll say oh they must have moved the correct way to do it is actually to keep a history of all their addresses that way when you do get that mistake where a check comes in showing a different address than what's on the record you have a history of it you can say oh that must have been their former address Address. All right, so to show you how this works, an easy way to keep in mind, I'm going to just change the address back. I'm going to bring you to the left here and go to the config module. You see that? And if you join me in your system, you'll see you have an option that's called business roles right there. And when you choose business roles, the very first thing that should pop up on your screen is under this general heading on the second column is right here. When copying the preferred address to an alternate address, use this default address type. Now this is the table for all your types of addresses and what you should have is something like a last known address or a former address. In this case, former address is the default. So going back to my record, when I open up Caitlin Daly in the event Caitlin Daly has moved, all I need to do is come up to this drop down window on the top where it says constituent and you'll see this option where it says copy preferred address to alternate. You see that? Now the second I click that, It'll give you this prompt. It'll say the preferred address was copied to the alternate address. At that point, you say, OK, now you come in here and you make your change. So we'll use our example early. They moved to 1232 Main Street and we'll give it a different address. I'll say Oakland, California, and I'm just going to guess on the zip. I don't know if that's a correct zip or not. But what happens here is now if you go to the addresses tab, you will see that the former address is actually kept there. And in the event that you ever needed to go back and just see where they moved from, now you know. So that's your tip for the month. I hope you'll learn from that. Now remember, that only works for individual records. It doesn't happen on organizations. But thank you for watching and enjoy.